Hello everyone, today we are going to build a stagger grid and if you don't know what is a stagger grid, basically this is a grid with items with different sizes. Let's start by creating our first screen that will have a vertical stagger grid. So let's say vertical uh, grid screen and this will have a lazy vertical stagger grid and here in the columns we can specify staggered grid cells and fixed and this will have only two columns but if we want to make uh, more columns we can say adaptive and specify the mean size of the column so let's say we want a column with 80 dp let's import the dp and uh, opt in for this and the content will be let's say on to a uh, number of 10 items that uh, will uh, have a height of if the index oops let's get the index index is an odd number will have uh, 200 dp otherwise it will have 100 dp Let's make a box that will uh, fill the max width, fill max width, and that will have the height that we calculated earlier and the background color of red. Now let's enter the content, content alignment dot alignment dot center. Now let's create a text that will have the index and uh, the string. And let's run the app and see how it looks. I forgot to add the screen here, so vertical grid screen and let's rerun the app. As you can see it has multiple columns but we need to add some spacing between them, so let's say horizontal arrangement, arrangement dot spaced by let's say 10 dp vertical arrangement arrangement dot space by 10 dp and let's um, change the column number to just only two and let's see how it looks as you can see the left items have 200 dp and the right items have 100 dp height now let's create a lazy horizontal stagger grid which will have a stagger grid cells fixed of two and let's create um let's just copy the the previous items but let's change the width now width it's equal to oops width and let's change to film x height and let's also add some spacing between them and let's copy the spacing from here and let's rerun the app and see how it looks now. As you can see, there we have our rows with different widths. And if you like this video, make sure to follow me for more content like this.